Does it still hurt? You're safe now, I promise. What's going on? Hey, no moving! Stop! You'll reopen your wounds! I see. I'm having... a dream? Which means this is... back then. Please! I know it hurts, but you can't move! Oh... No, no, no! If you're in that much pain... Oh, I know! I'll cast a spell to numb the pain, alright? Just hold still a moment longer. Here goes. Ready? That's right. I remember now. That girl, she... That girl. Her name, why can't I... Remember? Radiance, you're awake. W where You're in Marga, Your Radiance, the royal capital of Astoria. I see. And you're a... Uh, Kirika, right? Kirika Toa Alma of Wellint. I'm also known as the Diva Magica. Please, call me Kirika, Your Radiance. All right, Kirika. Nice to meet you. Diva like a singer, right? That song before. Just what is a Diva Magica? Oh, originally we were translators, I suppose. Divas once acted as bridges between men and dragons, communicating will and whim. When dragons still roamed the world, there was peace. They spoke to us, taught us, sang to us in their ancient rune songs. Though the dragons are gone now, and the skies over Alfheim are empty, we Divas still play the songs in remembrance. A new Diva Magica begins training from a very early age, not just to master rune songs, but draconic lore, historical texts. That's how it was for me anyway. I applied myself to my training, but it always felt... off. Empty. But then I met you, Your Radiance. I always knew you returned to us. That's why I've been studying, playing my heart out, and... and now you're really here! Uh, my apologies, Your Radiance. I allowed zeal to overcome me. Please, if I may serve you in any capacity, only say so. Uh, okay. Kirika, you know I'm not actually the Shining Dragon, right? My name is... I understand, Master Yuma. Perhaps not in fleshly form, but in spirit, you are the Shining Dragon. Okay, I'm the Shining Dragon. We'll go with that. Honestly, I'm just glad to have someone looking after me. Good morning, Kirika. How's he doing? Oh. Oh, he's awake? Mom! Mom! And that was Primula. Her mother, Emma, runs this place. Ah, uh, the Seagull Inn, I should say. Mom, look! Oh my, good to see your eyes open, dear. You gave us quite the fright when you wouldn't wake up, you know. I... I did? Um, thank you for looking after me, ma'am. Breakfast is ready, so why don't you come down and put something in your stomach? Oh, and the princess is here. Best not make her wait. The princess? In time, your radiance. I think you'll understand after you two have spoken. Good morning. You had a rough night. Were you able to rest up? Hmm. What's wrong? You seem confused. I, uh... She said I was supposed to be meeting a princess down here. So, does that mean... A prin... Oh, for the love of... Hey, Emma. I told you not to call me princess in town. Hmm? Oh, right. I forgot. Sorry, dear. Hold on. You're... No way. You're a princess? Uh, what? Like it's that hard to believe? Here, why don't you let me introduce myself? Sonia Blanche, Crown Princess of Astoria and firstborn to the royal family. Pleased to meet you. M my name is... 
Yuma Ilvern, your highness. It's a profound honor to meet you. Hey, nah, -uh. none of that. No highnesses. Just call me Sonia, okay? You got it, but uh, what's the crown princess kicking around a regular old inn for? Well, excuse us for being regular and old. We're the top inn in the city, thank you. And we've even got Dragoneers staying here. <laughs> Easy now, Primula. But she's right. I live here as the Dragoneers' caretaker. Dragoneers? That's what Excella and Kirika are, right? Are you a Dragoneer too? Uh, no. Not personally. It's more like I'm in training to become one. Something like that, anyway. So, um, Yuma, weird question, but can we talk about your plans from here on? Your future? Sonia, I think it would be better if the king explained. We should escort his radiance to the castle before anything else. You're right. Can you come with us for a bit, Yuma? I'm a little uneasy about all this royalty stuff, but it's not like I can refuse the people seeing to my every need. Okay, wherever you want to go, point the way. Welcome, Sir Yu. I am Albert, King of Astoria. Thank you for making the journey to my humble hall. Yes, sir. Oh, come, Sir Yu. No need to be so stiff. Actually, if I may call you simply Yuma? Sure, that... that's fine, um, sir. Very good. Now, Yuma, I'm sure you have some guesses as to why you're here. The, um, the Shining Dragon, right? Then we're all on the same page. That's the short version, yes. However, let me first assure you of your freedom in this hall. Unlike the Empire, I have no intention of holding you against your will. You alone will choose whether to lend us your aid, and you alone will decide what shape that aid takes. That being said, if I may be so presumptuous, I would ask you for a particular kind of aid, the Shining Dragons, if it's yours to give. For nearly a decade now, Astoria has slowly bent and buckled under the Empire's boot heel. We're locked in a bad stalemate, to be frank with you. Marga's fortifications have seen that it remains standing for now, but we cannot place our faith in the walls forever. Then there are refugees fleeing occupied lands, and the poor souls left behind. They are my subjects, and I their king. I am duty-bound to protect them. I understand. I've seen the Empire do some terrible things out there. When I was at Galritz, I saw cruelty, all kinds of inhumane experiments. Will you help us? With the Shining Dragon's power, Alfheim could be free of Imperial influence. I want to stop them too, I really do. But I can't use the Shining Dragon's power to do it. It... it's too... To what? It's not like he's evil. He helped me and Kirika, remember? No, no, not evil. It's more like... Ugh, then make a decision, why don't you? What does his power even mean to you, huh? It, uh, w well... Answer me! This is all about you, so why don't you say something? Yeah. If you've come this far just to clam up, ugh, I don't understand you. Sonia, enough. Yuma can hardly make his own decisions when you lay the pressure on so thick. What? No, uh, I didn't mean... <sighs> no, I'm sorry, Yuma. None of that was right of me to say. Please excuse my display. You know I don't mean to embarrass you in your own hall, Father. And Yuma, can you forgive me? I know you have your reasons, so if you don't want to use your power... No, it's okay. I should be the one apologizing. Hmm. In the end, the fault lies with me, I think. You did, after all, just escape from Imperial Prison. Perhaps I was wrong to push for answers when you've been left with only questions. Shall we take a break for now? A moment to think with clear heads would do us all well. You are dismissed, Yuma. Please, 
Take whatever time you need, see the city, and return with your decision once you've made it. Fair? Yes, if you say so, your majesty.